Daf Nun Hayam at Beis, we begin Nun Hayam and Aleph, four lines from the bottom. So, continue on with dreams. So, the Pasuk says, Anovi Asher Itoi, Cholom Yisaper, Cholom Vasher, Yedvare Itoi, Yedabe Divrayemes. Ma Leteven Esabar Num Hashem. How can you compare the chaff to the grain? Num Hashem. Frakti Gemar Vechma Inyan, Bar Veteven Etzel Cholom. What is this Teven and Bar? What does that have to do with dreams? It's describing the nature of dreams, just like you can't have the grain without having the chaff in it as well. So too, there are dreams that you can't have a dream without having meaningless things in a dream as well. Just like the grain, you have the part that is is not the, the grain, not edible. There's parts of the dreams that are meaningless. By a dream, even if a dream comes true, but not completely. How do we know this? We learn out from Yosef. So Yosef's dream to the brothers, he said, the Shemesh and the Yareach, and the Chavim. So the reference is to his parents, his father and mother. And the time when this dream came true, where they did come down to Mitzrayim, and they did bow down to him, she was not alive. So you see that even a dream like Yosef's dream, a dream that came true, a dream that foretold the future, but not completely. If a person has a dream, a good dream, and it's something that foretells the future, doesn't mean that it's going to happen right away. He can wait in anticipation even up to 22 years. We see this from Yosef. So at the time of the dreams that Yosef was 17 years old, he was 30 years when he came before Parak. So, min shavsev say at lasen kamahave from seventeen to thirty. How many years is that? Atlas, sorry, that's thirteen years. So there was a from the time he had the dream when he was seventeen to the time that he stood before Parai, and then he became the viceroy. It was a time uh, lag of thirteen years. Then v'shev the shava v'tate the kafna. Then there was a seven years of the the good years. And then there was the two years of the famine. Ha so that's a total of nine plus thirteen is twenty-two. And it was then after that, the twenty-two years, that's when Yaakov and the brothers came down to Mitzrayim and they bowed before Yosef. So you see, it took twenty-two years for this dream to come true. For a good person, they don't show him a good dream. And for an evil person, they don't show him a bad dream. What do you mean? Nothing bad should befall you. And what's the reference to? That you should not be frightened by bad dreams or thoughts. That there should be nothing bad befall you, that when you return from a journey, and you should not find that your wife is a Suffolk Nida. So, we see over here that a tzaddik does not have bad dreams. The more answers, He doesn't see the bad dream. The tzaddik doesn't see a bad dream, so not to get frightened. But other people see bad things, bad dreams, bad things about him. Meaning that for a tzaddik, this will help him to be shamer him, that he won't be complacent, and he'll always be har b'tshuva and rachmim for a person, a raw, a bad person, then Rabbi Shalom sends him situations in life to make him complacent because then he's not deserving of the messages from a Shemaim to be Mahar B'tshuva and to, to be Mahar B'tshuva and Asrachmim. For a tzaddik, he's given those messages 
not directly, not to frighten him, but he's given those messages in order to keep him on the proper path. Frank the Gemara v'chilei chaza iu mal yusi. You're telling me if he doesn't see the dream, it's a good thing. So you're telling me that he doesn't see a bad dream, so not to frighten him. He doesn't see a good dream, not to make him complacent. So l'chayr that means he doesn't dream. I have amar of zera kol alon shiva yom v'lo chalaim. If a person <coughs> goes seven nights without dreaming, nikra ra, he's called ra, he's called evil. Shenemar v'savea yolin ba yipaked ra. Al tikra savea elosheva. So, seven, without Bal Yipanket, without a dream, then a person would be considered wrong. Ella, the more answers, He doesn't see a good dream, he doesn't see a bad dream, but he dreams. Just doesn't know what the interpretation, what the meaning of the dream is. Amr Avuna Barami, Amr Apedas, Amr Avyachan Arayi Cholam, V'nafsha Aguma, Aguma, if a person sees a dream and he's, he's bothered by the dream, he should have it interpreted by three people. He should have it interpreted. If he, we said that Rukhista said that if a person has a dream and it's not interpreted, it's like a sealed letter, like a letter that's not written and read. So therefore, why have it interpreted that you're risking the possibility that it'll be interpreted and it'll be a bad outcome? If it's not interpreted, then it's like a sealed letter. So why should he have it interpreted? He should be made to it. He should have it that they turn the dream and they they improve it. They turn it into something good. He should bring three people and said, say to them, I saw a good dream. It's a good dream. It should be a good dream, and it should be good, and Rabbi Shalom should make it good. Sheva Zimne. Seven times, he said. And they should be examined Shemaim that it should be good, and it'll be good. And it should also say, Three psukim that have the Indian of the Tad tribe of Hafuchas transforming something, turning something around, meaning the idea is, if there is a bad dream here, we want it to be turned around to something good. And three psukim that deal with Pedus of redemption, and three psukim that deal with Shalom, with peace. Shalom Shafuchas, the Pasuk says, Hafachta Mitzbilu Machoili, Pitachta Sakev Yisraeli Simcha. Pasuk says, next Pasuk says, Ad Tisim Vosul V'machol V'chorim Yisrakeinim Yachta, and I will transform, I will turn their avelos, their mourning, to, to joy. The next passage says, And he turned the klala into a brocha. So three psukim of transformation. Shalosh Peduya is, he should also say three psukim of redemption. So Yonason was saved, he was redeemed, three psukim of redemption. And Shalom Shlema is three psukim of redemption. Shalom Shalom, Lerach Lekar, Vam Hashem Rafas, Veruach, Lav Shez HaMosai, Vamat Kolachai, Vatash Shalom, Veis Chosh Shalom. So these three psukim uh, all deal with the union of Sholem, that is have Sholem. There is a difficulty over here. The Gemara is saying, why does it have, why should you, can't be that you go in front of three people and to have it uh, interpreted and to have the dream interpreted because if it's not interpreted, then then it's like a sealed letter. Elamai, what should they do? They should be mate of it. They should improve it. And they should say these three, the sequence of three psukim, three, 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 and they should be now improve the dream. Well, if the dream that's not interpreted is a sealed letter, so it's not going to come true, so what's there to worry about? Why should he be made to it? What's the purpose of being made to it? The more saying that don't say it means to interpret the, the dream because if you don't interpret it, it's nothing's going to happen. It's a sealed letter. Rather, what it means is be made of it. Well, why? What's the purpose of being made of it? 
If it's a sealed letter, it's not going to come true. So, as we'll see in the Gemara Little Vaitra, we'll see that some dreams, it doesn't mean that all dreams, there are no dreams come true. Only dreams that are interpreted. Some dreams, as we'll see, some dreams that come through all the day, Malach are types of nevuas. They're dreams that that come through shadim, that the intermediary are shadim, those are subject to interpretation. But not all dreams. So let's keep it in mind as we go through the Gemara Vaiter and we'll see that there are different categories of dreams. So they were going together, they said each one, let's each one say a Kiddush that the other one has not heard. If a person sees a dream and he doesn't know what the dream means, and he should go before the Kahanim, my Birchus Kahanim, and he should say as falls, Rebbeinu Shalom, and he shalach, v'chalam, I say shalach, chaloim chalam ti v'ani yidayim out, I dream the dream and I don't know what it is, I don't know who, b'en she chalam ti ani ala asmi, b'en she chalam ti ala asmi, b'en she chalam ti ala b'en she chalam ti ala kherim, I don't know whether it's a dream where I dream of myself and others other dream on me im taivim heim if they're good dreams chazim v'am taim kalam yisav shal yisav then strengthen him like the dream of Yosef, like we saw the dream of Yosef came true that the dream that uh, his shamesh v'yareach it eventually came true v'im tzrichim refua if it has to be cured and healed refaim k'mei mara on yidei moish rabbeinu that the bitter waters turned sweet to k'mira mitzaralta she was healed of k'chizkiya mecholya just like you turn that clola to a bracha, and he finishes before the kahanim finish, and so that the amen, this after this is said, immediately there's the response of amen. The lawyer, if he doesn't finish it, he finishes it early. That you should give and bring shalom upon us. So this is the minute that we have, that we have Birchus Kahanim, that uh, on Yontiv, that this is said when the Kahanim sing, not when they say the, the brachas, but when they sing, that the Tzibur says this, the other, actually we say after the Amen, not before the Amen. Possible, Idach Vamar, Haiman Dialamasa, if a person is coming to a city, the Dachal Main Abishin is afraid of Ein Hora, Lindka, Zikva, the Yada, the Amina should put the thumb of the right hand, the Yada, the small, and the left hand, Zikva, the Yada, and the thumb of the left hand, and Zikva, the Yada, the small, the Yada, the Amina, the right hand, the Lame Hach, Anna, Plaini, Bar Plaini, Mizarat, the Yasef, Kassin, I am from the descendant of Yasef, the Lashal Tabe in Abishin. Then Ayn Hara was not shaylet on us. Shenemer ben Peres Yosef ben Peres Alei Ayn. Al Tikvei Alei Ayn. Don't read it. The charming son of Yosef Alei Ayn. That the gaze at Oila Ayn. That the eye covers. They're shielded and sheltered from Ayn Hara. Rav Yosef Brachanin Am Lahal Chavi Yid Galaroi Bekerav Aretz. Ma Dogim Shabiyam Mai Mechasim Alei Vein Ara. Ain't Ain Rasha let us behem the fish in the sea they're concealed. We don't see it. There's no Ain Hara. I'm sorry, Shal Yosef. Ain Ain Ra shall let us behem. And if he's afraid of his Einar, meaning Einar that he might put on somebody else, he should gaze at his left nostril. The other one said, The person who's not well, he's ill. He should not reveal it the first day. Mazel, so he doesn't want, he should keep it quiet, so he shouldn't have his mazel, should not, not go be deteriorate. He should keep it quiet. It's, and it, some explain it in the manner of al tiptok pelasotan. It should not be revealed, so to his mazel should not go down. But from there on, he should reveal it. He should reveal it. The Rava, just we find by Rama the first day when he was sick, he did not reveal it. But from then on, Amal he told his attendant, Meshamas, Pukva Achris, go make an announcement, make an announcement, Rava Chalish. The Rava is sick. Man, the Rachim Li, the one who is close to me, and Oyev, Liboy, Lai Rachim. 
He'll dive him for me, he'll ask Rav. Uman the son of the one who hates me, Lechdeli. Then he will then he will be happy and rejoice over my misfortune. And Uksi bin Foli Bek Al Tismach Vikashla Al Yagali Bekha Pinyar Shem Rabina Vihishima Lav Apai. And then the anger that's upon me will be now taken off of me. Shmuel ki have a chose chalma bisha when he has saw a bad dream. Omar of Khalamoisa Ashav Yada Bear. So he said the Pasik and he said it in this way, and he read it and interpreted it this way, that dreams are meaningless, that the Khalaimas are shav, they're meaningless. When he saw a good dream, he read it, interpreted it in this manner. Omar I said meaningless, and that's not meaningless. It's good, good dreams shall be Mukuya. Safrak the Gemara, how can you say that Chaloimas are shav, that the dreams are meaningless? Vaxi b'chaloim adaber boy. It says, I will dream, I will speak to him through a dream. Rava Rami, Xi b'chaloim adaber boy, Xi b'chaloim is a shav yadaber. Like Kasha, kan al yadei mala, kan al yadei shei. This is what we were mentioning before, there's a difference if the dream comes through a mala, comes through a shei. So through a shade, it is considered shav. Now perhaps the shad is is that, and Chorat's mashma from the Masha this way that if it's through a shade, it'll be subject to interpretation. If it's through a malach, then it's through a malach, it's it has a different category. In it. Now through a shade. Perhaps the pshat is, is that if it is not interpreted, then it's like a sealed letter. It's al yidei malach, then it is foretelling the future. So perhaps the dream that's through a malach, you have to be made of it. Now, are we sure which is through a shade through a malach? Perhaps not. So therefore, every dream should be, we should be made of it. We should try to improve it, but not to interpret it. If we don't interpret it, it's through a shade, it's through a sealed letter. But to be made of it, it could be through a malach, and we have to be made of it. There are 24 and interpreters of dreams in your shalim. Twenty-four people used to interpret dreams. Pamachas chalamti chaloyma. He said he had a dream. Va'alachti etzel kulam. He went to all twenty-four of them. Umasha pasuli zeh loy pasuli zeh. Each one interpreted in a different manner. Veniskaima ve'kulam niskaima be, and they all came true. Lekai ma'ashinem or kala chaloyma salchem achar peh. All the dreams go after the path, the way you interpret it. So we had 24 interpretations. They all came true. Frank the Gemara, Atu Kolo Chalom is Holch Machar Peh. Krohu, is that a Pasuk? You're saying that because it says, Lakai Mashinemar, is that a Pasuk? Or it says, yes, in. Not verbatim, but this Indian is a Pasuk. Karabel Lazar, Arbel Lazar, Dam Rabel Lazar, Minayin, Shakol Chalom is Holch Machar Peh. How do we know that this is true? Shinemar, Avayi, Kasher, Pasuk, Lano, Kain, Hoya. So the Pashup Shad and the Pasuk is the way Yosef interpreted a dream that the, it came true. But the Darshan of Eikasherpa, the way he interpreted that influenced the outcome. It, the outcome of the dream came about because he, he interpreted it in that manner. Eikasherpa, the way he interpreted that influenced and affected the outcome. But Amar Rabbi, even though we say it goes out for a pen, it depends on how you interpret it. It has to be, uh, it has to relate to the dream. It has to be connected to the dream. It doesn't mean that any interpretation which has doesn't fit into the dream is that that's the way it comes true. If it fits into the dream, it's an accurate interpretation, and it, it correlates to what actually was dreamt, then it comes true. Shenemar ish. So it was accurate. So the Sarah Ifim saw that Yosef 
So he said that he interpreted the dream correctly. How did he know? Each one, the had his own dream. He also had the interpretation of the other's dream. So he knew, therefore, the Sarahifim, the way Yosef interpreted the dream of the Saramashkim is the way what he saw in his dream is the interpretation of what he saw in his dream of the dream of the Saramashkim. If a person woke up, he woke up with a posset on his mouth, a raisin nevuah katana. It's a small nevuah. It shows, it foretells the future to a degree. There are three dreams that come true. Chaloim shel shachris, the dream of the early morning. Chaloim shel chalom loy chaver, and the dream that another person dreamt about him. Chaloim shel nifter b'say chaloim, and a dream. If you dream and have an interpretation in your dream, you have an interpretation of the dream in your dream. That also is miskaim. V'yeshayim af chaloim shel nishna, and some say even a dream that's repeated. Shenem rav al hishonas that was repeated.